Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, many communities across Connecticut from today's round of rain and thunderstorms picking up half an inch to an inch of rain with even locally higher amounts. We're getting a break from that right now as we check out early warning pinpoint Doppler. What's left of the rain, you can see shrinking in coverage there exiting eastern Connecticut. Temperatures right now basically are highs for the day between 65 and 70. Uh, a solid 10 degrees below average for this time of year and our view from Torrington showing uh, a similar seen regardless of your location across Connecticut. That is extensive cloud covers. We head from northwest Connecticut to the northeastern part of our state from stores. You can see the clouds there. Also from central Connecticut, from Middletown, lots of clouds border to border. So again, the rain that we've been tracking from this morning all the way through the afternoon. Now uh, you can see again shrinking in coverage as it works across southern New England off to our west where we've had clearing and we've got a front moving in. We do have some thunderstorms that have been developing across New York and and Pennsylvania heading in our general direction. But the air mass to our west is much more unstable as temps there have reached the 70s and 80s as these storms head in our direction. Given that we've got the clouds and temps only in the 60s, it's a much more stable air mass. Any storms will tend to weaken, so cannot rule out a rumble or two of thunder, maybe a brief downpour, uh, but overall the threat for severe weather certainly is down this evening. Tomorrow during the afternoon we could see a round of storms that could be strong, potentially severe. Here's future cast showing any activity to our west working into Connecticut 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Again, shrinking in coverage, uh, weakening considerably. Overnight tonight, some Body showers will be possible. Also areas of fog develop as we head toward early tomorrow morning. Then by tomorrow afternoon with some sunshine and cold air loft, that daytime heating will generate scattered thunderstorms. Could see again heavy rain, some frequent lightning also, and additionally some small hail, maybe some gusty wind. Anything that flares up tomorrow afternoon will tend to die out as we head toward and past the uh, the evening commute. Overnight tonight, uh, upper 50s and low 60s all across Connecticut, so not a big drop from where we currently stand. And tomorrow with enough sunshine will hit the mid and upper 70s inland close to 80 and meanwhile along the shoreline several degrees cooler then for our Wednesday as high pressure builds in that will bring us some brighter less humid dry weather plenty of sunshine from the morning right on through the afternoon hour so on our early morning seven day forecast for Wednesday we'll start off in the mid 50s as opposed to the 60s like we will tomorrow morning by that afternoon top out in the upper 70s near 80 on Thursday mostly sunny humidity levels will remain low after tomorrow through the end of the week so comfortably warm 85 on Friday with a, a developing breeze and on Saturday that's when the humidity will increase as a front moves in that will touch off some afternoon evening thunderstorms and then behind that front for Sunday we kick off the summer season of course also celebrate Father's Day temperatures will be in the 80s with a lot of sunshine and lower humidity and mid and upper 80s on tap for Monday of next week for shoreline highs uh, this weekend low 80s for Saturday as well for Sunday Sunday certainly the drier better of the two days.